Assalamu alaikum. How are you? I hope everybody's doing well. I am doing fantastic. Welcome back to Jolly's Kitchen again. And I'm very happy today because it's Friday and Friday means it's a fun day. So I'm not sure how much fun I'm going to have, but I'm definitely going to enjoy some cooking in Jolly's Kitchen with you guys. So I want to make very simple especially you know if you're like busy or lazy and you don't have much time but you still want to make something delicious something healthy and something quick today's the day so my viewers i am here to make some delicious soup today uh, i kept it very simple but i promise you if you follow this recipe and if you try it you're gonna love it and you probably want to have it uh, all the time. Uh, I honestly speaking, this is one of my favorite soup. I have it frequently whenever I have time. I usually do it whether I'm busy or not because I just simply love it. So anyway, um, let's talk about the ingredients. First of all, here is the delicious mushroom. If you're a mushroom lover, uh, use as much mushroom as possible. I'm using this white mushroom. You can always do the brown one as if you like or any other uh, type of mushroom you want. So mushroom is my favorite. So I love mushroom. So I'm gonna need mushroom. Then one of my favorite, which I eat all the time, is the bok choy. It's a Chinese bok choy. I washed it, chopped clean, and you can use um, as much as you want, but I love bok choy especially when you cook bok choy it shrink and it doesn't look as much so that's why i have this much and then my viewers here i have fresh chopped green onion and it is actually um, from my garden so these uh, amazing looking very healthy organic uh, green onion i just picked from my garden and uh, some onion optional but you do want to use onion because i love onion and onion goes with everything including soup so that's that and chicken broth if you are vegetarian use vegetable broth so you can use uh, beef broth chicken broth veggie broth i am definitely not a vegetarian because i love fish and i love you know meat so I mean I love actually fish not meat but anyway um, so I'm using this and um, since it's a Korean type of looks uh, the soup that I'm making I want the Korean looks and Korean um, flavor Korean taste so I'm definitely gonna use this Korean chili powder this is more like the looks it's not very spicy by the way so this gives the beautiful red korean soup look so if you korean chili powder okay and for my soup i always add some noodles and it can be any type of noodles you don't have to have this ramen i'm using this because this is super 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 spicy and i am a spicy lover so I always love spicy food. So this one, I don't think uh, a lot of people can handle because this is supposed to be like two eggs, three eggs, four eggs, whatever the eggs they call. And this one is supposed to be very, very spicy. Um, it is uh, so spicy that even sometimes I can't handle it, but I still love it. So uh, I'm gonna use this one pack, but you can use like the, the regular, um ramen or regular chow mein you can even do angel hair pasta you can do a spaghetti you can do any type of pasta that you have or any type of noodles that you like uh, i'm gonna stick to this one especially today so um i think that's all my ingredients and um, so i have on my pot i already put some olive oil very little olive oil you don't need to use a lot very tiny and my 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 pot is already hot so okay so i put the ginger first saute it like for 10 seconds 
And followed by, I am going to pour my onion immediately. This soup, guys, I'm gonna stay with you and cook because it's very, very simple, very delicious. And uh, you can do red onion, uh, yellow onion, white onion, whatever onion you like. Red onion is, I think it's more tasty for soup. So I use red onion. Just like saute for like a couple of seconds, like maybe 30 seconds. And um, I don't want my onion to overcook. I still like my onion to be a little crunchy. So I'm just gonna pour my mushroom now. Saute, just quick saute. And mushroom is almost done. Now my viewers, I will saute my bok choy. Uh, as you can see, the pot looks like almost full. Let me show you a little bit from the close. And that will, all right. So, you will see how quickly the bok choy is gonna shrink because bok choy is like a spinach. Uh, it doesn't take too much time. And it shrinks very fast. So, while, while that is cooking, I'll open my chicken broth. Basically, I'm gonna pour my chicken broth in your, the pot. There you go. So you don't need to cook more than that. You don't wanna lose the green color. You want your soup to look green and pretty. All right, that was quick. Now, let's pour all the broth. I'm gonna use the full broth because um, I love soup, so even the broth tastes good. So there you go. So if I use this for one teaspoon, then I don't need to uh, add salt at all. So I'm just gonna put one teaspoon of that. I think one teaspoon is good enough, so I'm gonna just use this much for my soup. And this should be pretty good. I don't think you need more than that. What I want to do, just to get the red, beautiful color, I am going to add one teaspoon of red chili powder, one teaspoon of red chili powder, which I told you guys before, this is not for the spices, this is for the color only, all right? So, hmm, look at the beautiful color. Love the color. All right. And the last, what I'm going to do is add my noodles. You can break it if you like. You can put the whole thing if you like. I think I'm going to break it a little bit so it will be easier for me to eat. So I'll just make it like four pieces. There you go. All right, I just broke it into four and I'm gonna pour it in my soup. There you go. Okay, so now, now that I pour my noodles, um, I'm gonna cook for about 10 minutes. And once my noodles is done cooking, at the very, very, very end, I'm gonna pour my green onion because this is definitely not something you wanna cook it for too long because this is for the flavor, this is for the looks, and this is for the taste. So if you cook too much, you're gonna lose everything, which you don't wanna do it. So use this at the very end. Okay, so this I will save it. And in the meantime, I am going to cover my soup for like 10 minutes. And then uh, before I do that, I will try to taste if I need additional salt or additional chicken bouillon. Perfect. How did I know that I needed exactly one teaspoon? I mean, this is unbelievable. Sometimes, sometimes what you do, if you don't want to use too much spicy because this is actually very spicy, what you can do, this is just like the veggies, so you can put the whole thing, no problem. Um, I think it's like a seaweeds, black seaweeds, and some sesame seeds. This is the dangerous part which is extremely hot. 
So if you can handle so much spicy, you can just pour it half of it, but I love spicy, so I'm gonna do the entire thing. And this is the one, it's the killer, because this is very, very spicy. Actually, a couple of my vegetarian friends, they did request that, uh, to make uh, this soup again, because I think last time I made one soup, but apparently I spoke in Bengali, and my friend didn't understand, so she did ask me to speak English so she can follow all the steps. So, hey, Aparna, this is for you. Uh, make sure that, you know, you make this. And um, I am uh, speaking English just for you, my friend. So, look how beautiful it looks. Okay, my viewers, now I'm just going to wait five more minutes and then my soup will be done. And I can wait... Here you go, my viewers. Look at this. How can you not fall in love with this soup? I mean, this is so easy to make it and uh, you don't have to go to the restaurant to try this Korean spicy noodle soup. You can always do it at home. Look how delicious it looks. Wow. Oh my gosh. And I didn't lose my color. Bok choy still looks pretty green. My green onion looks green. Mushroom obviously looks pretty good. And the soup gives this red delicious color. If you can make the Korean vegetable soup or Korean noodle soup or ramen soup, why do you want to go to the restaurant? Because at home you can have it in your way, the way you like. Uh, the amount of vegetable you want to eat, I add. So this noodle soup is completely done. I turn off the stove and uh, it is looking fabulous. So my viewers, uh, if you like this short, quick, delicious and very healthy uh, Korean uh, ramen noodle soup or ramen soup, uh, watch my video. My steps were very simple. Uh, I hope you like this video and if you do like this video, try it at home. Like, share, comment, subscribe my channel and stay with Jolly's Chick Kitchen and follow me on my Facebook page Jolly Marita. I'll see you guys soon again. Bye for now. So my soup is done and it is lunch time. So I'm going to have soup for lunch and um, also wanted to give you a review about my soup. Um, so the video will be on YouTube and uh, I got like a big bowl of soup. I like this bowl because it says enjoy so I'm gonna try and see how delicious it is my mushroom and bok choy mmm good spicy my gosh the spiciness is pretty strong but I knew it because I have had this before, so I know how strong the spicy is. But like I said, if you don't like the spicy, you can have less spicy, but it's delicious. Mm. It has a full of flavor, perfect. And I can taste the ginger. I used a little bit of ginger. I can taste it. So I, I would suggest add a little ginger. My kids and I, we actually enjoy eating with chopsticks. So if you have a hard time eating with chopsticks, you can have it with a fork or spoon. Mm. Bok choys are so good. Onion, red onion, and mushroom. Mm. It is too good. But I don't feel like talking. I just keep like, I feel like just keep eating. And I wish I could share with you guys, but 
I shared the recipe and so I hope you can make it too. I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.